After years of complaints and three crashes in just the last three weeks, the city of Tonawanda is finally doing something about the Young Street Bridge. Tractor trailers are banned, at least for now, before a more permanent fix can be made. Here's two on your sides, Jackie Roberts. Neighbors in the city of Tonawanda called for action after not once, not twice, but three times a tractor trailer was stuck while trying to pass under the Young Street Bridge and decision makers were listening. Uh, we owe it to the businesses along that stretch that are inconvenienced. We all owe it to all those folks that live over there to take these steps and try to curb all these crashes. Mayor Rick Davis issued an executive order banning all trucks from using a section of the street near the CSX overpass. It's not just putting up signs in a certain spot. They're, they're placed in a position where the drivers will have an out to get off that roadway. The mayor also asked police to step up patrols in the area, implementing a zero tolerance policy. People who live near Young Street say they're relieved city leaders are taking their concerns seriously. I'm glad to see that they're even though it may not be fully their responsibility, they're, they're making the effort to try to make it better. The mayor put out this order. I'm so thankful for that, and, and hopefully it will work. But the ban isn't necessarily off to a great start. An owner of a business next to the bridge caught this on her security camera just a few hours after the restrictions were put in place. For now, the mayor and the city police are evaluating the success of the ban, hoping for a long-term solution. This is going to be a wait and see. We're, we're going to see what happens, and the mayor has indicated that. We're going to try this uh, through his executive order and see if that will alleviate a lot of the truck traffic on that section. The neighbors we spoke to say trucks slamming into Young Street Bridge is a problem spanning several decades, and they're hopeful with City Hall now on their side, they can tackle this issue together. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.